The party season is upon us, and if there's one thing that's essential for your makeup wardrobe at this time of year, it's smoky eyes. Today we're going to do a modern smoky eye with a metallic accent, as metallics are everywhere this season. So watch and learn how I achieved this smoky, glamorous look. Now when you do makeup, you're probably used to starting with your foundation and then leaving your eyes till last, but today we're going to start with the eyes. Because we're doing smoky and we're working with dark colours and shimmery products, if the fallout from the eyeshadows were to land on your foundation, it would ruin your makeup completely. So by starting with the eyes, we can clean up the rest of the face and then do our foundation later. So I'm starting with a neutral base colour on my eyes and I'm working from the Autograph Face and Eye Palette from Marks and & Spencers. And I'm taking these two shades, these two shimmering golden shades, and I'm going to apply those to my brow bone, just using a fluffy blending brush. Next, I'm taking the Benefit Bronze Cream Eyeshadow. In bronze, have more fun. I'm just applying it using a flat brush all over my lid and just up to the crease. Now this stage doesn't have to be too neat because we are going to blend this with a few other colours. And when it comes to doing smoky eye makeup, you want to do a bit at a time. So you don't do a full eye and then move on to the next eye, but rather you do it piece by piece on each eye and that way you can make sure you're doing the exact same thing and you're going to end up with symmetrical eye makeup. So that's given us a nice dark base but it's still got a metallic shine to it. So next to add some real glitter to the look, we're going to take the Stila Glitter Eyeshadow. It's a cream and it's called Comex Copper and this is like little flecks of glitter in a cream eyeshadow. It's amazing. So again I'm applying it with a flat brush just to the centre of my lid and it goes on like little flecks of gold. Now obviously for doing a, a metallic eye, you could go in with silvers or metallic blues or purples or blacks, whatever you fancy. But today I've opted for the warm shades of copper. Next, to blend our dark base colour, I'm taking Moroccan Sands, which is the colour from number seven at Boots. It's a nice neutral copper colour and I'm taking it on a fluffy blending brush and just running that over the harsh edge of that dark colour and that just allows it to blend more into our base shade which is on our brow bone. You can already start to see why I began with the eyes. I'm starting to get a bit of fallout onto my face but it doesn't matter because I don't have my foundation on yet. Now to really smoke this look up and make it a bit more vampy, we're going to go in with a gunmetal grey eyeshadow which has a lovely shimmer to it. This is from Estee Lauder and it's the Pure Colour Envy in number 20 which is called Ominous Brilliant and it's a really fab smoky colour. So I'm taking that onto a pointed blending brush and applying that just into my crease and smoking out the outer edges. And because it's shimmery and not matte, it gives a really soft effect rather than being too harsh. And I'm also going to apply that colour underneath my eye to tie it all together and give me a rounded shape. So I'm taking that same Estee Lauder eyeshadow on a pointed brush and applying that under my eye area. Now just to tie everything together and clean it up a bit, I'm going back in with that Moroccan Sands from number 7 and just blending around the edges once again. Just to make sure we have no harsh lines of colour and that everything comes together harmoniously. Now no smoky eye would be complete without a bit of black eyeliner into the waterline. It gives the illusion that your eye has something to rest on because we have this dark colour underneath the lash line. So I'm taking the Diego Della Palma Eye Pencil which is available at Marks and & Spencers and just using the pure black shade. So I'm putting that into my waterline and carrying it up to the top waterline also. And it just adds intensity and depth to the look 
and really finishes off any smoky eye. Next, I'm going in with the Clinique Liquid Eyeliner Pen. This is so easy to use because it's got a little felt tip on it. So if you're not an expert with gel liner or liquid liners or a bit tricky for you, then this is the best tool. We're not going to create a flick or a cat eye for today's look because a smoky eye is a statement of its own. So my liquid liner is just simply going to line the top of my lash line to disguise the band of the lashes that I'm going to add soon. So I'm just going straight close to the lash line and finishing where my eye naturally finishes. We're not winging it out. Because this is a dramatic look, I will be adding false eyelashes. And before I do that, I'm going to put on a coat of Lash Impact Mascara from number seven at Boots. The mascara should always go on before your fake lashes, so the lashes have something to rest on. So using the glue that comes with the lashes, I'm just applying a thin layer to the band of the lash. And you then need to leave this to go tacky for about 10 seconds. Whilst you're waiting for it to dry, you can put a little bend in the lash line and that's going to make it easier to stick to your own eye. So those are my eyes finished. I'm now going to clean off any of the excess eyeshadow that has fallen onto my face and go ahead and apply my foundation, my contour, my blush and do my brows. Now the last thing you need to do is decide what lip you're going to pair with this smoky eye. Obviously smoky eyes look great with nude lips and because it's winter you could even go for something like a plum or a red lip if you're feeling brave. Personally I love a pop of colour on the lips so I'm going in with the number 7 high shine crayon in Tropical Beach. It's a lovely coral colour and I think it'll really complement the warm tones that I've chosen for my eyes. And this is the finished look. A gorgeous smoky eye with a metallic accent, which is perfect for a range of occasions as we come into the party season.